According to the Eastern Shoshones, the Nimeragar are tiny, three-foot-tall, human-like beings with sharp, pointy teeth. They crave and love eating human flesh. Being miniature anthropods, Nimeragars use ambush tactics to kill their favorite prey, humans. They use small, quick-killing poisonous arrows to dispatch their prey. After the kill, the Nimeragars sit down and have a nice meal. When not eating humans, the Nimeragars, like gremlins, enjoy punking and giving grief to the Shoshones and other western tribes. One day the Shoshones were so fed up with the shenanigans of the Nimagard, the little people of the Pedros, they decided to go to war with them. Forming powerful alliances with other western tribes, the eastern Shoshone almost wiped out the Nimagars. This is why the little people of the Pedros are hard to find. Until the 1930s, the legend of the little people was not well known by Anglo-Americans. But when two poor, desperate prospectors claimed they found a mummified little man in the Pedros, the legend came back to life. For years, the mummy was on display as evidence the legend of the little people was true. After a thorough scientific study, the Pedro Mountain mummy turned out to be an unfortunate child born with an undeveloped brain. Accepting the results of the study, the mummy was no longer a novelty or of interest. The body was discarded and lost. But, even with the evidence against them, many people still believe in the little people of the Pedros. Here is one theory why the Nimagars cannot be found. Perhaps the Nimagar are not of this world. Visitors from outer space. They only come here to cause havoc. Who knows? I know one thing. When the snow stops flying and I go hiking in the Pedros, to be on the safe side, I will carry an antidote against the little people's poison arrows. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Also check out the Mommy of the Pedro Mountains.